a lot of times you can stand up in front of kids and tell them you need to eat your fruits and vegetables because they're good for you. Well, until they get to learn more and engage more with that food, it doesn't matter how much you tell them it's good for them. <laughs> they're, not, they're not interested. The key is, is how do we get this great food into the community? And so that led to a little experiment with the district. What if we could provide them with some of this great food and see how that goes? Without that food, it's so hard for them to learn and stay focused. And so they are eating a high quality product, a good food that's filling their bodies and then fueling their minds. Tastes really fresh, like really, really good. Doesn't taste old. I'm pleased as an adult eating it and I know my kids love it. I think it's, it's really cool that you have lettuce growing just two miles away and it's freshly grown. Our aquaponic systems rely on what we call the aquaponic cycle, which is our fish creating waste, which is mostly ammonia, bacteria in our system break down that ammonia and convert it into nitrites and nitrates, which are our plant food. The plants then absorb the nitrates out of the water so it can return clean back to our fish. Our systems recirculate indefinitely, so these two commercial systems have been running for just over two years. We've never had to dump the water out and refill them. I've heard estimates that aquaponics uses between 90 and 99 percent less water than traditional farming. We start everything from seed here at Solutions Farms. We try to use organic seed whenever possible, and we seed 4,000 plants. So each week we seed 4,000 seeds into a tray filled with coconut coir and worm castings. The coconut coir is what we call a soilless soil. It has no nutritional value for the seeds. It's just a medium that we use to sprout the seeds in. Once the seeds are sprouted, they'll spend 14 to 21 days in our nursery or our germination room until they get large enough to be transplanted into our floating rafts. And as they grow, they'll get pushed down towards our south end or our harvesting side. So we're above organic certified food, so it's top 1%. It is like the best food that you could put into your body. We're not dealing with a corporation here. We're literally growing this food, harvesting, and then that afternoon, the kids are eating this food. It's huge for me that Vista Unified has made an effort to put organic produce and foods in our schools because I think we need to start educating students early about healthy food choices, what organic means, and how that directly affects how their brain works and how they learn. I strive to get a connection from the cafeteria to the classroom, and now that we can make that connection one step further to the community and into their family life is perfect. That's what will sustain these students. Those partnerships that we get with community organizations, community businesses, everybody benefits from that. The kids benefit, the schools benefit, and the organization benefits. It's building that stronger community. And we have the amazing opportunity to give our students that top quality top-notch product that they really deserve. I think it says to those parents and that students that we care. And because we want to put the best quality product on the plate, we do care about it. their nutrition, their health, what they eat, and honestly, how they learn and grow. And I think that's the message we need to send each and every day. The product from Solutions for Change just helps us do that a little bit better.